Alright, what's going on people? Boxing fans, subscribers, this is Mr. M2 coming at you with another fight prediction, like always. <laughs> First, uh, for the fight September 15th against uh, Sergio La Maravilla Martinez. Yeah, against. Oh yeah, what an introduction, Michael Becker. <laughs> yeah, anyway, getting back to it. Chavez Jr., Sergio Martinez, it's going down September 15th, and um, can't wait to see it. It should be a one hell of a fight. Um, let's go over the uh, tail of the tape here for Martinez. He is getting up there in age, he's now 37. Southpaw, 5'10", 75 inch reach, uh, 49 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws with 28 KOs. Pretty good record. Uh, Chavez Jr., uh, 26 years old, uh, is an orthodox fighter, 6 foot tall, 73 inch reach, has shorter arms than Martinez, which is kind of a surprise, but you know, hey, happens from time to time. 46 wins, uh, no losses, 1 draw, and 32 KOs, so... Well, these guys got pretty good records, you know, so it's going to be a good, good fight, I think. Um, first thing I want to say is for Chavez Jr., um, I'm going to give him, you know, some credit here for taking on a legit opponent. Not like uh, Canelo, you know, but, you know, that's, that's another video. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, much much props to uh, Chavez Jr. for taking the fight, for stepping up. Um... So it should be a dandy, I think. Okay, so let's go over a few things that I think is going to happen here. I think that uh, a few things that I would like to see Chavez Jr. work on before this fight is um, I would like to see him use his jab a little bit more. He sort of likes to just come in and like bull rush you, almost kind of like a Mike Tyson, but not really. Like He'll just come in and try to dip low on these punches and, and get to the body and land his hooks and things like that, uppercuts. Uh, I, I think he should try to work his way in behind the jab against Sergio Martinez because he's going to be doing a lot of moving, so I think a jab would, would do him some good. Um, also, he uh, he's not very fast as far as hand speed goes, as far as uh, foot speed goes or any of that. You know, he's a big guy. You know, he likes to just burrow his way in there. Like I said, I don't think that that's a good idea for him. Um, I would also like to see him move his head a little bit more. He does get hit a lot. Um, if he's just relying on his chin, like he said, he's oh, I got the best chin in the world, whatever, I think he's going to get knocked out if that's his game plan, to just try to walk through all Martinez's punches and then, and then, you know, hopefully he'll tire out. I don't think that's going to work. So, those are some things I would like to see him do. Plus, um, you know, maybe he should uh, definitely try to stay within the limit of the, you know, weight class, or at least within, you know, 10 pounds. I mean, he comes in sometimes cruiser weight you know, at 185, so I don't, I don't that I think that that might hurt him in this fight. Um, although it looks like it's been an advantage over the last couple of fights, I don't, I don't think that in this fight, I think he should be in the best shape of his life for this fight. He shouldn't be blowing up like that. But you know, uh, seems to be the thing he's doing lately. So maybe that'll work out for him. We'll see. Um, as for his strengths, that I see, he. Um, you know, he's obviously the bigger man, probably got the heavier hands. Um, you know, he's he's very good body puncher. Uh, he, he does have a good chin, you know, from what we've seen so far. Um, you know, very tough guy, has a lot of heart. Um, so those are things that I think he, he has an advantage of in his fight against Martinez. As far as Martinez goes, his some of his weaknesses that I see, the, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't want to, really say he's getting old but you know 37 is getting old but um we'll see if that starts to catch up to him um also as his defense you know he likes to keep the hands his hands down you know a lot of the time which is something that i'm not a big fan of but you know that's his style he's won a lot of fights that way we'll see if that can work out for him you know he's got that roy jones style he likes to keep the hands low and bounce around um things like that plus his inside game is not as good as, as, as it should be i think doesn't like to be there, um, you know, every chance he gets he'll hold you, you get close to you, let the referee break it up and then 
go back on the outside and do his thing, whatever, you know, bounce on the toes and try to counter punch you. As far as um, some of the strengths, obviously he's very fast at hand and foot, uh, good reflexes, uh, very good counter puncher. Um, he, he, he's, he's very unorthodox, you know, he's, he's weird and, you know, off time and things like that, you know, the, the way he bounces and the way he, he likes to come around people's punches with his counters and things like that, so, um, you know, I think he does have a lot more advantages in the ring than Chavez Jr., which I think will pay off in the long run for him. Um, as far as my prediction goes, I'm going to pick Sergio Martinez to win this fight. And I think he's going to end up stopping Chavez Jr. in the late rounds, maybe like 9 or 10, something like that. I think that this is nothing new for Martinez as far as what Chavez Jr. is going to bring to the table. He's been in there with some guys who put a lot of pressure on him, threw a lot of punches at him, like a Kelly Pavlik, Paul Williams, people like that. And, um, you know, he's, I mean, it's not like he's wiped these guys out, but, I mean, he's done well against those guys that come and try to, you know, pressure him into these these wars and things like that and throw a lot of punches. So I think that this is something that's going to be new for Chavez Jr. He hasn't been in there with someone with this kind of hand speed, this kind of foot speed, boxing ability, uh, counter-punching ability. So this is going to be something totally new for him. Um, if it's changed as good as he says, it is, and it's going to have to be that good that night because he's going to be getting hit a lot, I think. And he's going to be getting hit with a lot of punches that he doesn't see coming, which are the punches that usually, you know, end fights or really hurt you bad either way. So that's what my take is on the fight. I'm going to take Sergio Martinez by knockout, late round knockout. Um, if you guys uh, want to leave me comments or whatever, let me know what you think of my prediction. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. If you think you know, if you agree with me, or if I left something out that you think I should have brought, let me know. Whatever, um, you know. There's my fight prediction right there. Martinez by knockout. So um, let me know what you think. This is Mr. M2, and I'm out of here.